Hi, and welcome to another UQ 3D scanning tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at Cyclone 9.1 and how to register a project without target. So in the previous project, we imported our scan into our new database, and we registered using targets which we had for this scan. However, we're just going to assume for the purposes of the exercise that these targets either didn't register correctly or we didn't never had them in the first place. So we've already gone through and looked at our various scan worlds, we'll check they're correct. So just from here, we just want to create a new registration. And we just use that using a create registration button again, or right clicking, new registration. In this one, we'll call a combined scan, we'll call it three point just go open our new registration and here we want to add our scans again so to do that we select scan world add scan world and then select our three various stations and bring them across and go ok and they're all rewarding and here's where things differ slightly and here we go into instead of going constraint and auto add constraints we go to cloud constraint and Cloud Constraints Wizard. This window will come up there and basically list our various scans column and our various other scans into other columns. So here we just want to select the ones that are got a lot of points in common. And for us, it's actually our scan three has a lot common in with one and two. So we just simply want to make sure they're joined up and we don't really need to join up one to two realistically you only need one scan linkage and the rest will come so here we go update from here it brings up a new window so we'll maximize all this up to try and get as much view as possible and bring our cloud constraint to a bit above so it's not in the way from here we're essentially in two model spaces um, and we just have to select three points in common between the two various scans. You can select more points than this but it's largely unnecessary. Um, three points will do you fine. Now if we remember from before one of the key elements in navigating model space is where our central point is and understanding that's where we can rotate to, that's where we can zoom to, we can't zoom past there. It's really critical to understanding how to navigate model space. So from there, we can navigate around. Another helpful tip when navigating model space is also you can locate to your scan location at any time. To this you just want to select your seek tool hold shift and then left click there we go um, and then we can hold control to stay locked in our place and we can navigate around based on our target it shifts it slightly there so it's a little bit off that can be useful if you're getting a little bit lost in your scan and it can be sometimes easy an easy way to find common points now for us, I'm pretty good, I know where it all is. So we will just go there, we can see our third target in there. And we want to find three points that have um, some data in common. So here we're using our first window along the corner and we can use the bottom left corner. Windows are very good, generally speaking, because they have distinct edges which you can select. You don't need to get this close. You just need to get roughly, the tolerance is about 100 mil, so you can change this in settings um, to have higher tolerances if you need to. Um, so we'll select two points there, go out, find another two points. You generally want a decent variety of points, though um, it's not the end of the world if you don't. We'll just go up, down. We'll set this top corner here. And same thing back 
chaos is the second window. Right. Cross. Down. Zoom in. Pan up. And we've got a similar point right here. So for our third point, we might select something a little bit different. So we'll try and find another common point between the two. And that, we can probably find one in this doorway here. So we just go over across, down, zoom in, zoom around, because we probably want this top corner, this doorway. Maybe we can get up into it, maybe this front corner here. So we just say, just make sure we've got it over here. I'm pretty sure we do. And down, and down. So you can take a little bit getting used to navigating through these menus. So it can be a little bit more difficult than using a registration methodology, but if you don't have target, you don't have targets. That's pretty much what you have to deal with. So here we go. There's a point. And there's a point over here. And you'll just then collect a constraint button. And that's constraint. We can also preview our constraint by selecting a preview button, which I'll show you on the next scan. So for here, it's the same idea. Again, we're going into our central scan, but we're going to the other side. So we'll select a window first. Just want to make sure we can see that one. So that is the second window across. Yep, we can see that fine. Doesn't need to be too different. It can be reasonably similar and it'll still be fine. This one. And if you select the wrong point, you just select it again and that will deselect the point. Now for our third one, we might do something a little bit different. Or we'll just use the same one again. Let's just use the same one again. It's easy. We don't really have to change too much about it. Let's select this top corner. Curved edges aren't always the best, but we know these are pretty good, so we should be fine. Sometimes you might have issues with finding hard corners and making sure you're in the right range with a curved edge. But I'm pretty confident, so we'll just go with it. Select, and then we can do a preview. That will show us just a model space, and if we can see if anything's very wrong initially, and we'll check this in more detail slightly later. So from here we just close down this, we don't want to save this model space, then we go constrain. Now that has just very simply um, constraints. So we're going to constraints list. We'll see this. We've got two constraints linking two of the clouds, but we can probably do better than that. So Cyclone can help us out here. So if we go register, we'll register the two scans. You can see we've got some pretty good linkages here. That one's turned up a bit poor. But then we go cloud constraints, auto add cloud constraint. And that will find any additional scans, so it's found an extra constraint there. We go to that one. And from there we select all our scans and we optimize the cloud alignment. We can improve these alignments even further. So we make sure we've got the smallest kind of element possible. And we say we've an average deformation of around about 10 millimeters, which is very good. You can anything above 15. We start to get a little bit concerned, but generally
generally it's fine, depends on the quality of the data. It depends on how much overlap there is between the two scans as well. So, and that we're pretty happy. We can go close that. And then we can go to registration again. Create and free scan registration. Create and open model space. Right here. So, here I will show you something else that is quite important with some of these other scans. So, we're pretty confident we got these right, but we probably want to check if they're the same. So from this we can go Tools, Scanner, uh, Scan World Explorer. We just want to set this little button here. Apply Scan World Color to Scans. This just applies different colors to all the different Scan Worlds and enables us to see them very easily. Go yes. Okay. A bit of green, a blue, and a light blue. So then we just want to select our area and make sure we can just precisely see what's going on. So this pathway is probably very, very good close. And we right click, copy fence to new model space. This enables us to isolate the element. We want to make sure we're in our orthographic view, so we're not distorted by perspective. And we can see our three scans have aligned very, very nicely. A little bit. That's all pretty spot on. Um, so we select the scan, we can see, we have that the data highlighted for us. We can just double check, yep, that's all aligned. So that's good. We just want to close that one down, delete after close, because we don't really want to see it again. That was just for a check. We just want to close this one down. And that's pretty much done. We've got a new scan. Um, we'll go into here again. You can see how lovely scan. It's all 